Hi, I'm Roger Narayan and you are watching Cinema Rendezvous. I have been stereotyped a lot. I look at it as a double-edged sword. I think stereotyping is great because as an actor, if you're known, because you know myself, I've played a lot of surgeons on TV. I played a surgeon on Weeds, I played a surgeon on NCIS, I played a surgeon, so you, 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 you get what I'm saying. So I play a lot of surgeons, cardiac surgeon, brain surgeon, neurosurgeon, whatever. So it's my look, it's what they believe Indians are, like highly educated doctors, whatever. So and then I've played also the cab drivers and the, the store owners and all that, which is the other stereotype. Um, and so on a practical level as a performer as an actor on the ground i think stereotyping is great because it get, gets you work you get to work but then that's the same journey i had so early on in my in many years you know a few years ago when i was starting off in la that was great i got to work i got to get my beak wet um, uh, and and kind of dig into things and like just experience the process of how things are done and then you come to the point where like hmm like i'm only doing these things but i i have something deep inside me that wants to explore something more, right? That's when you start saying no to the stereotypical roles. So I have a lot of my friends, you know, um, in fact, uh, my fellow actors, Sandil Ramurthy in, Los, you know, in Hollywood who did Heroes, who did the show Heroes, um, a lot of my other friends who do shows in, in LA, including myself, we actually are very selective now about the roles that are being portrayed. And fortunately for us also, Hollywood is opening up. There's a whole conversation around diversity that's happening. You might have heard the whole conversation with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith talking about the Oscars and like diversity and representation and all this. So that's a good conversation that's starting up because diversity is not new in, in, in America, in the United States. Uh, the African Americans have always been there. Uh, the Hispanics have always been there because, uh, you know, their, their history and culture is so rich and they've always been part of American history and culture for several centuries past. So their conversation about, around diversity is way earlier than ours. Because as, as, a, as a demographic, I, I believe we're only like 2 to 3% of American population, which is very, very small compared to Hispanics, which is like in the high 10s, and African Americans, which is in the high 20s or 30s, I believe. Uh, so they themselves are still kind of only now being seen as regular faces on TV and like, you know, in moving image. So there's a journey for us as Indian actors, as people from the subcontinent, from South Asia, uh, as we're called, the South Asians or, you know, East Indians is what we're called in America, in the, in the industry. And uh, so that conversation is starting up, which is very heartening, which is very encouraging. Um, so I, to answer the second part of the question, yes, I have turned down roles. I turn down roles when I feel it's gratuitous that the character is Indian. <coughs> if I think the character is authentically uh, necessitated to be Indian, then I'll do it. If I feel it's gratuitous just for the sake of a caricature around comedy or something, I think it's, it's I, I mean, I, I have a sense of humor and I can do it for the sake of the humor. But beyond a certain point, if you're literally just putting down a culture because they're different, then that's not healthy. And that detracts from the conversation we're trying to have around the larger, you know, rhetoric of like, diversity and like inclusiveness and all this so so that's why you know i i have turned on roles and uh, uh, and and i also look at it as an opportunity for actors younger actors who are starting off to do those roles like when i say no there's somebody else who's starting off who gets to do it and get their beak wet and like get their kind of you know experience around like what it is to do a thing and then they'll have that conversation around like oh i did five or six of these surgeons and like whatever and I'm like and then they'll explore that conversation around like okay I, could, I gotta say no and like explore more deeper characters so so that's a constant journey and um, that's part, part of the reason why I said earlier in the interview that I'm open to working anywhere that our story is being told anywhere that a story is being told where I can play a, an authentic fully fleshed layered character I'll go do it whether it's in Nigeria or you know France or America or India wherever so <laughs>